Thanks for tuning in. This is just a quick video on how I resolve the speedometer issue on this 1123. Um, this is just my experience. If you happen to like it, you find this useful, please feel free to share. Additionally, please forgive the shakiness of the first clip here. I was trying to film with one hand while driving with the other. Hey guys, I wanted to do a very quick video on a topic that might be a little concerning, scary for some. Uh, but in reality, it's really not. Um, in this case, it's about the uh, speedometer not working. I've actually received two trucks, uh, two trucks in a row, where the speedometer was not working. Um, and this truck uh, actually was working and then it stopped working, which tells me then that um, it's probably going to be an easy fix. But let's talk about these clusters real quick. Um, in in the trucks that have the 60 mile an hour speedometer, which more than likely yours does, um, those are actually mechanically operated. The ones that are 80 miles an hour, um, if you've seen my uh, tan uh, slant back, that one has an 80 mile speedometer in it. But the ones that have 80 mile an hour speedometer, uh, those are actually electric. But let's stick to the one that you most likely have. So let's say you have a 60 mile an hour speedometer and your speedometer is not working. So start with the path of least resistance. More than likely, uh, which is the case for me on this truck, what's gonna happen is you're gonna take your four little bolts off to disengage your cluster. Take your cluster off. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand here. And what you're hoping to see is what we see here, which is your uh, mechanical component is actually, your, your wire is actually disengaged from your actual gauge itself. In this case, uh, what we have to do is just line up the square part with the actual gauge, screw it back on, and take it for a test drive. And more than likely, she's going to be good. Once again, I just wanted to make a really quick video um, to kind of help you uh, at least be at ease about your problem and possibly diagnose and resolve your problem um, yourself. Um, but this is a pretty... Um, I wouldn't say common, but it's happened more than... I would expect quite honestly but anyway nonetheless um, it's an easy fix because more than likely it just needs to be put back into place and tied back up